Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Linux command line tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn how will we can use rmdir command and how we can use rm command in Linux. So let's get started. We will start with rmdir command. Now this uh, rmdir command we can use to remove the directory or directory structures. So let's see how we can use it. So you just need to give rmdir command in order to use it and the option you can give so you can just write options here and then the directory name so I will just say dir okay. So this is how you can use it. Now for example I will just uh, cd to my desktop for example and then here once again I will create a directory by mkdir command and I will name it as abc and my directory is created you can see here right so for example I want to remove it so I can just use rmdir command to remove it so just uh, write rmdir and the directory name and press enter and it's going to remove your directory now for example you have a directory structure for example I want to create a directory structure for example mkdir a slash b slash c slash d slash e for example so this is the directory structure I want to create and for this I need to use minus p command right for parents and then press enter and then it's going to create this directory structure now to see this directory structure you can just write ls minus capital R and when you press enter it's going to show you the directory structure so you can see at the top we have um, directory A and inside directory A we have directory B and inside directory B we have C and inside C we have D and inside D we have uh, E okay so this is the directory structure which we have created now in order to remove it uh, you can just give uh, the same command for example rmdir and then just give a slash b slash c slash d slash e for example okay and when you give this command it's going to uh, you know remove or try to remove this directory but uh, you can see it hasn't removed this directory actually right and what it does is let's uh, see once again ls minus capital R that it hasn't removed this uh, directory it has only removed the top level directory which is this one which is E directory E right now in order to delete the whole directory structure what you need to do is you need to use this flag which is minus P which we have seen in the last video also for parent right and uh, E is already been deleted with this command without minus D so uh, without minus P it's going to remove only the top level directory which is at the top which is E in our case right now in order to remove the whole directory structure you just need to give minus a P flag and then press enter is going to remove the whole directory structure for you okay I'm going to clear the terminal and then once again I want to create the same directory structure and I want to show you uh, one more thing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, create this directory structure and in order to execute the previous command you have executed you just need to press up uh, key or up arrow key and it's going to give you the last command you have executed right and I want to create this uh, directory structure once again and I will press enter and it creates the directory structure once again and then I will just do ls capital R and you can see the directory structure is created and then there is one uh, command which is uh, this rmdir minus p and then for example you want uh, to uh, you know remove the command and see the output okay so you can just give this flag which is for verbose okay so this flag v 
is called verbose flag and this verbose if you don't know what is verbose verbose refers to the mode or setting that displays or gets extended information so it will give you what's happening in the background the information of all that right and then i will press enter and you can see how uh, this rmdir command is working so first of all it has removed the top level which is e directory then d then c then b then a so it works from the top level directory to the you know parent directory you can say okay so if you want to uh, you know display uh, the extended information you can use this uh, v flag with p okay now for example once again i will just uh, give the clear command which will create my terminal and uh, once again i will create this directory structure which is uh, a slash b slash c slash d slash e and it's going to create it and once again i will give uh, this command which is ls minus capital r so our, our directory structure is created right now for example i want to cd to for example a to the b directory okay so now i am in the b directory okay and here i want to create a uh, file so i will just write cat and i will just say abc.txt file i want to create and then i will just uh, give some random text here and i will just press control d to indicate the end of the file and now uh, it, this b directory contains this abc.txt and this we can verify by once again ls minus capital r command and now you can see in our uh, b directory we have abc.txt so let me go back to directories above so we are in the desktop so it will uh, you know go one directory back right if you remember how we can use a cd then uh, you know how to use this dot dot also right and these double uh, dot means we want to go one directory ahead or to the parent of uh, the current directory okay so now we are in the desktop and then once again we will give our ls minus uh, capital r and you can see the directory structure so we have a then we have uh, b directory inside a and inside b directory we have this text file and then c directory you can see so this is the directory structure and once again for example i want to use this uh, rmdir command to remove uh, the directory structure and let's see what happens so when i press enter it will give me the error in between so it says fail to remove directory a slash b directory does is not empty or directory not empty right and this is due to the fact that if the directory contains a file the rmdir command will not work for that directory so if the directory contains any file you cannot use uh, rmdir command directly right so i will just give this command which is ls minus r once again and let's see what it gives so you can see it has deleted the directory e d and c for us because they are empty and removing start from the uh, you know the top level so it has deleted e because it was empty then it has deleted d because it was empty and then it was has deleted c directory because it was empty but when it trying to um, uh, you know delete the b directory it contains a file so it cannot delete uh, this b directory and that's why this error is coming right so it uh, removes the file in a structure right so you can see at this moment uh, it has uh, given us this uh, problem or error because it's trying to delete uh, the directory but directory contains a file now if the directory contains a file there is a, another command you can use which is rm command and this command we can use 
to remove the files and directly uh, directories okay so just give rm and then your directory so now we only have a and b directory because cd e directories are already deleted right and if you want to delete the whole directory structure you just need to give this flag which is minus r and it stands for recursive okay and uh, we can uh, just add this v uh, flag also for just displaying the information what's happening in the background as we have done with uh, this mk uh, rmdir command right so if you will give this command it's fine but if you want to print the information you can give this v also with uh, uh, you know rm command and press enter and you can see it has removed uh, the text file first and then it has removed the directory structure now you may have observed here that it has only deleted our text file and the b directory because in order to use the rm uh, you know command you just need to give the parent directory name so you just need to give uh, rm and then minus r and then a would be enough to delete this directory and the child or sub directory inside this directory or whatever file it contains inside this directory okay so you just need to give the parent directory and nothing else and i have given the parent directory as a slash b so it consider the parent directory as this b directory inside a directory so it has only removed the text file inside b directory and b directory not a directory and if you want to remove a just give the parent directory which is a itself and press enter and it's going to remove this directory so this is the brief uh, information about using rm command and rm dir command you can uh, use uh, man pages or you can uh, you know refer to man pages to know about uh, more about uh, these commands okay so i hope you enjoyed this video please write comment subscribe and bye for now